Now for the best play of the tournament. It's Walshy, one on four against Carbon. Check this out. He sticks Shockwave, stops the flag, BXR's Ghost Ayami, charges over to Pink Tower. Makes quick work of Gandhi and heads back in for the flag return. Beats down Ghost Ayami and makes the flag return. There are few in all of esports that are as prolific as Dave Walsh. Walsh was really the first gaming superstar to me. Now you are the epitome of, look at your fans. How awesome is this? He was the one who embraced it and carried it into something that was bigger than what we were at at the same time. If there was one person that you'd pick to be the poster boy of Halo, Walshy is that guy. And Walshy's got double needlers. Uh oh, final ball. Yeah! That is just, that's some showmanship right there. He is confident. He is ready for And the crowd now erupts for Walshy and the rest of it. For more than a decade, Walshy shined as one of Halo's biggest stars, securing major sponsorship deals national media coverage, and the adulation of fans across the globe. Walshy is down there. Oh, he's having to listen to the crowd. They call him the Walshy effect. Is it full of back here, gentlemen? Going to those events and seeing how he was idolized. Legendary player who everybody at events would look for, recognize immediately, and rush towards. Signed autographs, took pictures, and big smile on his face the whole time, no matter how tired he was. People wanted to be Walshy. They wanted to learn from him. They wanted to follow in his footsteps. And I remember seeing him and thinking like, man, this guy's like larger than life. He was literally on a huge poster in every hall. He was featured front and center. Reporters wanted to speak to him. First ever Red Bull sponsored esports athlete. I mean, that is just, it's crazy. He was approachable. He was a winner. He was everything that you want in a superstar. It was like our Derek Jeter. Final boss, once again, earning the right to call themselves champions. A new game, a new season, the same champs. And you're talking about a guy who's got like 23 some odd championships, like nine event wins in a row with final balls throughout that era. When Walsh first came to a Halo tournament, Trace Esports had never really even been spoken. He was competing in Halo CE, which didn't have the internet, so the only teammates you had were the locals. At the time, there was a power dynamic. His answer to the power dynamic was to form a team called Team FFA. Team Free For All, I think, is really his defining moment. He put together a squad that was purely successful Free For All players, and this was the first team to finally dethrone the Ogres in STK. People referred to them as gods, and so the fact that they were upset was just such a monumental event for us. Um, it actually motivated me. I remember when Clark, he just beat us the first series, they swept us. He goes, well, have fun in the loser's bracket. And right from there, I knew if we got in the finals, I was going to tear them up. <laughs> and they go, okay, well, you know, Killer Ann and Walsh are going to go and team with Ogres, right? And that's the beginning of the dynasty. Walshy's extensive resume boasts over 20 major event wins, including a record nine consecutive tournament victories and three national championships. Few players in history can match his phenomenal success in Pro Halo. Dave always had a plan. He was so thoughtful with his approach to the game. Walshy would make these plays, which is what I would call the weasel plays, right? He'd play bottom middle, and the whole game would flip. Midship in Halo 2 was a nightmare, absolute nightmare. Walshy loved it. This is Walshy's home, baby, it's midship. Always found the nerdiest spots. One of the first people to start adopting the double shot. Button glitches, he was a master. He was Mr. Close-Up, BXR, BXB. About 100 yards away, and it takes out Karma to beat that. Dave was one of the first to use the claw. Most people would take their thumb off of the thumbstick to hit a button like jump or melee, not Dave. Walsh would sit like this, like it was a praying mantis. He's getting ready to strike. And he used to have this like, strong index fingers. Yeah. Dave is definitely known for the insta-splode. He was the guy who took the plasma grenades and made them lethal. What he excelled at was taking advantage of everything he possibly could, and I think tactical advantages was all him. And more important to shoot guys through cracks for double kills if you're Walshy. Walshy! Got him! That is going in the top ten. 
Dave was the leader on all of his teams. He was always the one who was making sure that the business is getting done both in the game and behind the scenes. Walsh was always going to give whatever he could to his teammates to make sure they were in the best spot to succeed. And he was always there picking up all the other pieces. He's got intrinsic motivation to be the best. No matter when the odds are against him, that little weasel is always going to be swinging for the fences. You knew what you were going to get with Walsh, no matter what. Right? You were going to get somebody who's going to do everything in their power to be prepared for any situation. He's going to surround himself with talent and make that talent better and who hated to lose. Walsh did a great job of rising up and being pretty much a role model for everyone else to follow behind him as to how you're supposed to present yourself and what a superstar looks like in the game. An athletic kid who loved to compete, wanted to be the best in the world and, and put the time in. And with the length of his career and, and how well he did during his career, there's no question he's one of the greatest to ever play the game.